What's up everyone and welcome back to another video of Duckalope Outdoors. My name is Chris. What we're going to be doing for you today is uh, a season update. So we got a recap on the second split and also I'm going to be doing some 870 uh, Express gun work for you. So we're going to be replacing the extractor, uh, the spring, and also the follower. Uh, so the first things I want to go ahead and tackle is I went ahead and started making some lanyards and some duct totes. Uh, I can make them matching, so if that's something to interest y'all, just go ahead and hit me up. On, we're on Instagram, so it's Duck Loop Outdoors. Uh, I can guarantee you I probably sell the cheapest pair of cord. Now the other things I started to make is <clears throat> we're going to start using these for the diver and uh, sea duck hunting, especially with the kayak. Uh, the gallon jugs are super light. All you do is just spray paint half of it black, the other half white, and uh, throw on a Texas rig, or you can... Um, you know, put on a leader so that way you can uh, have your long lines. But whatever area that you plan on hunting, me, I just want the biggest spread I can get and on the flat, it's not that deep, so it works. So go ahead and recap for the second split. Um, I was able to get down to Virginia and hunt with uh, Higgins and Justin. We were able to get down two geese. Uh, it should have been a lot more than that, but hey, crappy shooting on my part. And uh, hey, it was still fun to have them in my face. Uh, other things, I went, uh, pretty sure I went on a pond hunt. I killed a wood duck and I should have got two and I think I went on another duck hunt then too. Um, I think I only ended up with a wood duck there. So the movement during the second split was kind of weird because the way the wind and uh, the weatherman, that was the biggest, the biggest competitor there. Um, he would say that there would be like 10 to 15 mile an hour winds and it would be dead, you know, dead, not even, not even a breeze. You would say it would be somewhat hot and then it would turn around and be cold. So they couldn't even get, couldn't get it right to save their life. Uh, so that kind of affected it. So far as the bird movement, um, it kind of, it was really good at the very beginning and then it kind of tapered off and it almost became dead towards the end of the, end of the actual split. Um, so now that we're in between that second and third split, the third split opens up here within a week, week and a half. I got Justin and Higgins are coming down uh, this weekend, we're going to hunt Saturday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then I'm going down to Virginia and hopefully hunting that Wednesday as well. And we have Christmas, and uh, I, we still have the guided hunt by Soul Drifter Adventures down in Virginia. Uh, we're going to be going out on a, on a goose hunt with him. My family and I are still relocating out to Tennessee, so I'm getting stationed out to 101st Airborne. Um, we have a house selected, waiting to close on that. Um, Plan on getting some hunts in before their season ends. But let's go ahead and cut to the chase. I'm gonna show you all this gun work. Um, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for it because I kinda of didn't wanna sit there and babble the entire time because I wanted to pay attention on what I was doing and make sure I got the extractor out and the new extractor back in. So just uh, bear with the voiceover. Hopefully you'll be able to learn from something from this. If you have an 870, I definitely suggest you doing this because it's pretty much like the basic upgrade that you can do to it especially when you're getting a lot of jamming or eje ejection issues. So, all right, hope y'all enjoy. So this is the extractor I purchased from Midway USA. The link to it is in the description below. So pretty much to get the extractor out, you wanna use a flathead screwdriver. You wanna push down on a plunger. Be careful, cause there is a string, uh, spring back behind it. So you wanna push down on it and with your right hand, you want to pretty much uh, turn it towards the face of the bolt, towards where like the firing pin is. And when you turn it, it will eventually start to pop out. Switch and use your middle finger and hold back on that plunger to keep it from flying out. So to be able to replace it, all you do is just take your extractor and you push down and turn it towards the outside of the bolt and it snap back in place. It's super easy. So these are the other two parts that I purchased from Midway USA. You can see one is a spring, it comes with a follower, and the other one's just a follower. So to go ahead and get down to it, to get the spring out, we've all done work on the 870 before. So pretty much all you do is just push down on it, you twist the little end cap and it'll pop out. Don't lose your, your plug, because you don't want the man in green giving you a ticket. All right, so the spring itself, uh, the OEM one is about six inches shorter than the replacement. So I'll hold it up there so that way y'all can take a look at it. 
we all know what a spring looks like. So to be able to get the follower out, you just turn it upside down and the follower should go ahead and, uh, and pop out there. If it gets hung up, just stick your finger up in there and twist a little bit because there is a cutout on the side of the followers. And as I'm showing here, the metal one on the left-hand side has the cutout already. So that way it can slide down into the tube without any hangups. The other one doesn't have the cutout. So you're either gonna have to modify the follower or modify your magazine tube and grind out the little uh, indentation so that way it can work properly. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the metal one here. Uh, you wanna stick it down into the end, give it a little bit of twist so that way it can uh, follow the groove and fall down to the end. I checked it, made sure it was seated correctly. I took my new spring, which of course with it being longer, it's gonna be a little bit tighter to get down in there. And like I said, don't forget your plug. Go ahead and get that started and then take the end cap and find the groove that it wants to slide all the way down in. All you do is just stick your finger down in there all the way and use your finger and just twist it. It'll lock back in place. Make sure it pops back up, give it a little twist, and it's good to go. I wanna thank you all again for watching. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave a comment and let me know what you think. And as always, y'all stay safe out there.